So if you're a film photographer or a digital photographer, to get the best exposure, you're probably gonna need a light meter. Now, light meters are tools or devices used to measure light and get the best exposure out of your photos. Light meters usually range from like 100 to like $1,000. Right now it's really freaking sunny, so it's burning my eyes right now, so we're definitely gonna need a light meter just so we don't overexpose, because that can easily happen in, in an environment like this. My name's Ian McGilvery, I'm a Toronto-based photographer and YouTuber, and today we're gonna be showing you a neat little phone app that is a light meter, and it's called the Pocket Light Meter. It's the best light meter that I found on the iPhone, and honestly, it'll do the job. So right now I'm gonna probably shoot around, right by the way, I'm in the Rouge, the Rouge in Scarborough, and I'm gonna be shooting some photos and trying to, using the light meter app, and we'll just see how it goes. So let's do it. This area looks pretty nice. Nice little landscape of the pond. I'm gonna take a few photos. First, I'm gonna use the light meter app to kind of check my exposure. Um, so, by the way, I'm shooting film, I'm shooting 35 millimeter, um, 200 ISO Fuji. It's just to keep in mind, it's really sunny, so today's like a 200 ISO type of day. Even lower if you can get it. I'm gonna do my shutter speed to one to 250th of a second to an ISO, the film I'm shooting is 200, so I'm gonna keep the ISO at 200 uh, pro pretty much the whole day, um, and then, yeah, let's go to two. So, as you can tell from this, it's telling me at about F18, based on what I'm, by the way, I'm not using an ND, so it's gonna have to be F18. Um, so if you go up to like 500, then it's F13. And honestly, it's pretty accurate. So let, let's do that. Let's do it shutter speed 500 and F13. F13. Honestly, you'd be surprised. The app is very close to what my light meter on my camera is telling me. It's about pretty much the same, which is really impressive for a phone. Not gonna lie. Okay. And I'll take one more. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot a photo this way. So I'm just gonna try and get the aperture for this direction. A little closer to the sun, but it should be fine. So one over 500, 200 ISO, and cool. So tell me f13. Cool. Just gonna take one more. Alright, let's let's move down a little bit. What are these called? Pussy willows? <laughs> Pussy willows, right? Yes. <laughs> and basically, like to keep it simple, what I recommend when using this app is to just lock in your shutter speed and lock in your ISO and just let the, uh, the light meter adjust for the aperture. I think that for me, especially on film, that's the easiest way. I usually get really good exposure. Perfect. And the light meter's telling me F8 on the camera, so that's, that's perfect. Gonna do a foreground focus. background focus. A little little note on shooting film. It's a lot better to overexpose. Just in post, you can fix that. When you underexpose and you lose detail in film, it's pretty hard to get that back. So you always want to overexpose. I actually recommend ex overexposing about a stop on pretty much most 35 film. Should be okay. We're gonna go to that bridge. It's a really cool bridge. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna see what it looks like on this bridge. If we can get a a nice clear path for a second. I'll take a photo straight down the bridge. Should look good. But uh, that might <laughs> that might not happen. Let's we'll see. Two hours later. Make it happen. It's gonna be a great photo. Three, two, one. I'm gonna take some photos of the bridge on the outside. Maybe a couple candid of some people fishing. Let's do that.
I got one more photo. So let's make it count. I'm just gonna take a photo of these people living life as it happens. That's the end of the roll. So yeah, that was me using the pocket light meter on iPhone. Honestly, a really great tool to get the best exposure out of your photos. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, smash it, smack the, smash that like button, yeah. and, <laughs> and subscribe, and uh, we'll check you guys next time.